Hi everyone, it's Robin from Crafting with Robin. And today I'm going to do another craft. And it is going to be, um, anybody who's watched my videos know that I'm doing a crafting day with my grandkids. And I talked about turning these into gingerbread houses. Now I did take one of these and I took the wreath off. And then I painted it a brown color. And you can still see the outlines. But that doesn't really matter because maybe some of them will want to paint that back in or do something with it. And I also have these for some, maybe a couple of them that really don't want to go that far. You know, maybe they just, they want it partly done and they just want to glue a few embellishments on it. So that would might be better for some of the younger ones that um, might get a little more frustrated. So just to start out with, I'm going to move my camera down so you can see what I'm doing a little better. Start out with, I'm going to take, I took a ruler, a wooden ruler, and I cut it in half. And then I'm going to glue some, actually, we only need one one half. I'm going to take some of these Jenga blocks and glue, or tumbling tower blocks and glue them together. And this is going to give me a base to glue the house to this so it can stand up. So there's, I got four of them here. And then I'm going to take and glue that to the Let's not glue it to my table. So you can see there it's glued together like that. That's the half of the wooden ruler. Or you can use a paint stick or a um, popsicle stick. This just happened to be the first thing I saw that I grabbed. So then I'm going to take and put glue here. And that's going to hold my house so it will stand up. Or barn, whatever you want to call it. There you go. And then I can embellish it with whatever I want. Um, or the kids can. I got some little hay bales if they wanted to put a hay bale out with Let's see. I haven't planned what I'm doing, so it's kind of I don't know what the kids will be doing that night. We got some little trees we can put out here. Maybe even a bigger tree. I'm gonna start gluing a few things. And I could have painted this base, but I think I might add some, make it look like snow, add some glue down there and make it look like snow. Since this is a barn look, that's why I'm putting the little bale of hay there. And then Got these things. I haven't tried to cut these off. I hope they're not. Oh yeah, they're gonna cut off easy. Maybe I want to put those up. One of those up there. I'm gonna lay it down. Let's see, I'll lay this underneath it so you can see what I'm doing. I should have put a wreath up there. That would have looked better. I could put a wreath down here on the door. And I did get some of this. Whoops. The can you see what it's dimensional fabric plane? Can you see the writing? And I think it will work 
I think it'll work for outlining like the doors and stuff. And we could make it look gingerbread, you know, like a, let's see, start here. See what else do we want? Kind of do like the frosting. I should have done this before I put this here. I'm gonna do an outline. Well, let's see. Gingerbread house is this one here. I'm kind of looking at the one I got here. It's got kind of the rounded door. Man, I did a really bad job of that. And some windows. Okay. And this can also be put on the roof and see now what I do in this now, I'm going to end up making a mess because I'm going to get my fingers in it. I hope you can see that okay. It looks like, is it too bright? Maybe not bright enough. And then, let's see. Maybe if I put my wreath in there. Yeah, my door is really crooked. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Put my wreath in there. Then I did buy, let's see, what else did I buy? I did buy some of these that I could. I think if I stick them in the paint, it'll work to make it look like maybe um, the lights or candy on the roof. Oops, I'm hoping the paint will act like a glue and hold them there. I don't know, does anybody think it's looking like a gingerbread house yet? Let me know what you think. Maybe we'll just be calling it decorated house, a Christmas house. <laughs> I'm already dropping these little red beads all over the place. So it's kind of making a mess. Oh, there we go with that. Wish I had tape to tape this shut. So I'll have to be careful. And the other embellishments I got were some snowmen. Some of the candy canes. Let's see if I can get one of these to work. That was to. Try to do this without messing up my paint. Too bad. Uh, let's see. I have to go up there.
And then I get these foam ones. I got little bells. I've got the pine cones they can use to decorate. I'm trying to find the stances. I have stances here there. And I do have a stance in here. Plus some little gingerbread button gingerbread mint but min buttons. I think I'm gonna try putting a Santa. Over here. Stick a gingerbread man right there. <laughs> I'm not sure how that looks, but then I'm going to stick a snowman by the hay bale. These are actually stickers, these snowmen, so they have little sticker pads on the back. But let's see, do I want them sitting here? I was going to put something on the bale. Maybe I'll put a little tree, one of the mini trees on the hay, hay bale. Okay, you get the idea. And I've got other things that the kids can use, but this is kind of how it's going to go that day. Um, if we're lucky, it'll go like this. I mean, they they might have different ideas of what they think. I shouldn't say if we're lucky. I should say if this is the way they want it. And then I think I'm going to put, I don't have it out here, but I'll probably put some glue down here. Or I could use this too for snow. I believe you can make this kind of run a little so it'll... Look like there's snow on top. I could put some glitter on there too, but I don't want to cover up the door because there should be a doorway there. I could even put some snow on the trees. I think after what I've been using right now, I might have to, see this is why it's good to practice, I might have to go get some more of this fabric glue. And I do have some rocks, maybe I'll bring out some rocks and we can glue a few rocks for the pathway. Um, or what else could we do? I wonder if these candies would make a good pathway. I look at this bunch here. And we've got these little flatter ones here. Oh, you know what? The design is on the plastic, so we can't take the plastic off. But I'm wondering if this would make a good like step for the front entrance. I'm gonna make it work. I'm going to make that work for me. So that's another thing I discovered. We can't take that plastic off. That's why it's good that I'm practicing ahead of time so that the day the kids get here, we're not discovering all this stuff and somebody feels their project got ruined because of it. 
I don't know if I like this here, but we'll leave it there. So this will be the one the kids can look at and they can decide if they like it or not. So tell me what you think. Does this look like a gingerbread house, a Christmas house, a just, you know, something festive out of these plain these I got at the at Walmart last year for they say 98 cents but I believe I got them all on clearance after Christmas so I might have paid only 50 cents for them so I think that was a good deal and some of these actually I think all the ones I have here I did get at Walmart I do have a couple these three that we're going to also use and I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the roofs if I'm going to take those off or if let's just let them do the paint on there. I also bought white glue that they could, or white hot glue that they could use. So these I got at Dollar General, and they were on clearance also. They were in the spring section on clearance. Anyways, I got to get the paint off my table and clean up my mess here, and get dinner going for tonight. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if there's something different you would have done. You probably should have done all the glue stuff first and let or the paint, puffy paint, and let it dry. And then, you know, or didn't that last? Who knows? Well, but it's working out fine. And you can't even see, well, you can see if you look, but the door, crooked door doesn't look quite as bad now as it did. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Um, have a good day. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Thank you. Bye.